at the premiere of Gone Too Far, written by Bola Abadje. She won Olivia Award in 2007 for this, and she has come together with Destiny, both second generation Africans who have grown up in the UK. Reviews have been fantastic. It's been amazing. I've seen it. It's so, so, so funny. Uh, I just want to urge everyone that when it does come out, you need to actually buy your ticket and support. Oh, really? And now we have, we're here in a glamorous location. Yeah, right. It's beautiful. You're looking very lovely. Thank you. Thank you. I'm loving your natural love. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you. And it is here now. Yes. So proud. We need second generation African when you put it like that, yeah. I feel like kind of overwhelmed to be honest. Um, but I mean, you know, our approach to it was, you know, the moment I decided I wanted to be a filmmaker, I was like, I'm going to make a film. So we worked and we struggled and we, you know, we sacrificed a lot. Um, so to be, to make the film, I feel happy about the fact that I've made a film, but I feel like, yeah, this is my work, this is what I do. All of this stuff, yeah. the glam stuff and yeah. the, the red carpet stuff, completely, I'm completely overwhelmed. I That's did like, bonus. I did bonus, very much so. Yeah. Very much the cherry on top. So, Bola, we're finally here. Yes. Looking all glamorous, as I said, to destiny. Thank you. You know, compared to the time we're freezing and freezing down the car park somewhere, watching you guys, and you've been doing that for what? How many months did it actually That was take? a month. We, we were filming for a month. In the freezing cold, you're yeah, in the cold. Yes. You remember <laughs> I remember yes. your yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how are you feeling now? D-Day, your film, you won an Olivia Award in 2007 for Gone Too Far, and now it's a film. I am feeling jittery. I'm I'm shaking. I have to keep on holding on to the walls just in case I fall down. I'm not quite sure that I believe that the day is here. Yeah. And like it's been a whirlwind two weeks at the London Film Festival. So um, I'm excited. I mean, me and Destiny has worked hard on this film. Um, blood, sweat, and tears. Real tears have gone into this movie. Real tears. So for it to happen now, like we're really excited. And um, yeah, it's a lovely feeling. And we're grateful that an audience has come to come and see it. We're grateful for the BFI for them to you know fund our film. And I'm grateful for Destiny for for wanting to take on this challenge and, to, and to make this film. It was Destiny. To bring honestly. you guys together. It was Destiny that we met yeah. because honestly, yeah. like. It's it's been, it's been a fantastic team and, and like I know sometimes people say things about oh it's great working together but literally I feel like I found a sister Aww. like and I mean that in a genuinely genuine way we're yeah. good friends and I feel that you know like we're gonna work together for, for a very long That's time so and obviously you put this on pen on paper what was your inspiration was it your experience when you first grew up in the UK because it kind of took me back it's loosely to, based yeah I yeah. mean my brothers and sister my, my two older sisters came over when they were okay. like 14 15 so it's it's uh, it's all our stories because most of us who, who've grown up in in London whose parents are from Nigeria you know they we have siblings that, that grew up in Nigeria that's come, come over yeah. we have cousins who've done that uncles and aunts yeah. so it's all our story and like and it's not just a Nigerian story it really is a first generation second generation story because if you're Turkish and your mum's Turkish and you grew up in the UK this you is your story you can relate to it you can relate for when someone else comes from that country and comes yeah. to disturb your life you know so <laughs> disturb, your disturb your life, your life. <laughs> but they do disturb your life though it is a destruction it is like honestly our house was JJC split. hanging around trust me like, when my sisters came it took us a while to yeah. all gel because it's like you know you have <laughs> the British you? kids versus yeah. the Nigerian kids and so yeah yeah, it's, it's, it's great. I, I don't know. Like I said, I love it. Africa. Christopher, producer. Correct, yeah. Extraordinaire. And Rob. The secondary producer. Secondary, yeah. secondary producer. Lovely guy. I've spoken to Rob a couple of Seriously, times. Seriously, we... Obviously, we, you know, we knew the film we were making, but... Mm. I never really, well, we never really looked at it in that way. It was, I'm it was, happy it was that you a, That's good. It was a fun story and it needed yeah. to be told. And I, you know, it didn't matter who was... It. Doing it, telling it, it was fun. Fantastic. Fun is fun, fun is fun in every country in the world. Yeah. Some countries aren't so funny. <laughs> but most countries can be Don't very name funny. any countries. I'm not going to name any countries, don't push me there. But there are some countries that are not so funny. <coughs> the rest of them are funny. Alright. So in terms of the producing, budgeting, how did you guys find it? Beginning to the end, was it a struggle? Was it hard to I, get funded? There was, there was resistance. Okay. There was resistance, perhaps for the reasons you stated at the beginning. Um, it's not an audience that Britain knows well. It's not an audience that Britain 
have found easy, well, Britain, I don't know, the people out there that find audiences have found easy to capture. So there was some resistance, mm. but you have to overcome these things and you have to keep trying. And How these, did you these, overcome it? How did you actually get Oh, people? we're just, you know, we're like blinkered. We just kind of, we don't hear, the word no is kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, just move on. We just carry on. You and know, it's, just, you know, it, it is a low budget film, and, hey, but... Um, these guys. These, can you see these guys? With, Uncle, Uncle BFI guys. have been very, Uncle very, very Uncle supportive. BFI. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I th it, it, it was a low budget film, yeah. and obviously, w within all of that, it means that you have to, you know, uh, tighten the purse. You have to tighten the purse strings when you're making a film. Uh, sometimes you get it's no very cold, it's very wet. No time. The food's for, not very good. No, but we were very lucky that we terrible. had. The food, the food was terrible. The food was we terrible. Came, we came on set. One I know. Day. And it was yeah. It was. Yeah. And that was one of the warm days. Oh wow. And, and um, but we were really lucky that we had a fantastic crew who yeah. were really supportive and really believed in what we were doing so when the going got tough and it got tough a few times um, they just walked out no that's not no that was just some of them most of them stuck they with worked us. really hard and, uh, some of them stuck with us and, and, and also one of the great things was the cast were was so good and so fantastic and so funny as well that it kind of kept the energy up the whole way through and particularly when we were shooting in Peckham yeah. uh, the community was really Peckham. supportive Peckham you are brilliant he moved Mini there Lagos. he loved it so much seriously yeah. this guy really? filmed in Peckham yeah, true. moved to Peckham yeah it's wow. true he's a devotee so um, okay. it was a very supportive atmosphere really really pleased with it I've had a great evening it has been fantastic talking to the car, speaking to Bola, speaking to Destiny and super producers Christopher and Rob they got, those guys are really funny, funny, very funny guys. But I think these guys have done an amazing job putting this together. It's been fantastic. And I just urge everyone to go out and watch it when this comes out. It's very funny. Take my word for it. Really funny. If you're African like myself, you definitely be able to relate to this. Or anywhere you're from. If you have foreign, you know, siblings that have grown up somewhere completely different from you. It's something that everyone can relate to. So I just want everyone to come along and support and be part of this amazing project. It was originally a play that Bola wrote and um, it, it was at the Royal Court and I saw it at the Royal Court and I was like, this is my story. Um, I'd never seen anything like that before, like stories that I, things that I'd been through put on screen or on, on stage. And then about a year later, the script landed in my lap and they were like, do you want to direct it? I was like, hell yeah, I want to direct it. I don't know, you know, fam. I mean, what does an African look like? Oh, no, an African, isn't it? But if you check it though, fam, I mean, you could be Afro. Hey, shut up, bro. My nose ain't that big. But your lips are, hey, though, dickhead, fam. Dickhead, bro. What did I say? Like, look, say you is half African and half West Indian. Like, what do they call themselves? Bro, I don't know, man. Let's just go and find the shoot, yeah? Oh. Hey, what car is what? My lips really that big, though, yeah? Fam. <laughs> For me personally, it was getting the cast. That was the most amazing part of the whole thing, was getting the right cast, and I believe we got the right cast, and they're a wonderful bunch of people, and we laughed, we laughed a lot. What's that on your face? Stinging nettles, stinging nettles. Help me, help me find the dog, please. The, the stinging nettles. Ow! What are you doing? Those are more nettles. I'm proud and I'm very, um, you know what, I'm excited. What can I say? I'm really excited about the fact that it's at, at this festival because it's a huge festival with um, a huge audience and it's a, an important festival because it supports British filmmakers as well. And um, we need so much more of that, um, more, na more now than, um, than ever. And um, the film is a London-based film, so for it to launch in London at this festival is um, a dream.